All right, this is journal page 360, 15.3, which is the volume of spheres. We'll be using this formula. Volume of a sphere equals 4 thirds pi r cubed for number 1. It gives us the radius, so we write down the formula because we write down the formula every time. 4 thirds pi r cubed. We can put in 5 for the radius. We know 5 cubed is 125, so now I've got 4 thirds times 125 times pi. 125 is not divisible by 3, but I can multiply it by 4, which will give me 500. So I'm going to end up with 500 pi over 3. The units are millimeters cubed. Number 2. Same kind of problem, not much of a variation here. 4 thirds pi r cubed, which would be 4 thirds times pi. This times the radius, this times, this time the radius is 14, so we put it in there, 14 to the third power. Uh, 14 to the third power is 2,744. So now I have 4 thirds times 2,744 times pi. Again, not divisible by 3, but I can multiply it by 4. 2,744 times 4 would be 10,976 over 3 pi. Now, I put pi up in the numerator here. I'm putting it out next to the fraction bar here. Both of those are correct. Centimeters cubed. I actually like this a little better. Number three. Volume equals four thirds pi r cubed. Four thirds pi four cubed. Well, 4 cubed is 64, so this becomes 4 thirds times 64 times pi, not divisible by 3, but 4 times 64 is 256 pi over 3 feet cubed. Number 4, finally a little variation. They gave us the diameter. We need the radius. So we'll use 15 instead of 30. In 15 cubed, 15 cubed is 3,375. 3,375, that's a comma, not a decimal, times pi. Finally, something that's divisible by 3, if I divide that by 3, I'll now have 4 times 1,125 times pi. Multiply that by 4, 4,500 pi, and it'll be inches cubed. And finally, number 5, same kind of a problem. They give us the diameter again. So we'll use, instead of 55 for the diameter, we'll use 27.5. I'll put that in parentheses just so we understand that the whole thing is cubed. 27.5 times 27.5 times 27.5 is 20,700. 96.9, that's rounded to the nearest tenth, um, pi. And now, since we're already in the decimals, I'm going to actually multiply the whole thing by 4 and divide it by 3 and make sure we round to the nearest tenth, which will give us the volume of 27,729.
0.2 pi centimeters cubed. Now, any of these problems, if you wanted to, you could actually multiply by the 3.14, make sure you round to the nearest tenth, and then your answer will be an approximation. Remember, it's still in inches cubed, but we solve in terms of pi, and then it's an exact answer. Have an awesome night. If you have any questions, tutoring tomorrow or asking class. See you then.